the day? How many days is a person born with? We're all different. How many days were you born with? How many days was I born with? One hopes they'll grow old, live out their days to the max, to the fullest, but eventually the days run out. Younger or old, there is an end of days for all of us. Today is mine. Today is yours. Today is all of ours. The last day. Who would have thought? The end has finally come. There is a finale. When I was 10, my father told me he had cancer. When I was 15, he told me I had to be the man of the house. At 17, he was dead. I wasn't even a man yet, and I'm not sure if I'm a man now. When I was 18, I left home and set off on my own to see what I could become. And here I am now, 25. I've never become anything. Just a man, just living. Day to day, week to week, month to month, year to year. I don't know if I've become something, but I do know now that I never will. And it's over. No more dreams, no more work, no more fun, no more money, no more philosophy, no more religion. This is the end. And somehow it snuck upon me, crept upon us all. We were all dancing and playing as the fire burned around us. I never overcame anything, but at least I do have something to leave this world with. Love. I do have love somewhere. And somewhere she is out there thinking of me, racing towards me. I hope. I'm coming. I'll never make it. You have all the time in the world until you have none. It's funny how there's really no in between. It's all or nothing, everything or nothing at all. When they told us it was coming, when I first heard the news, I thought it was all a hoax, a, a prank, a, a joke that someone put out there so their stupid Twitter could go viral. I read it and laughed and then went about my day. Twelve hours later, I learned that it wasn't a hoax, it was real, that the end had truly come. How can you even compute something like that? It's hard enough imagining the doctor coming up to me and saying, Emily, you have less than six months to live. How do you respond? You can't. So what do you do when you find out the entire planet has less than 24 hours left before it ends? What do you say to something like that? I ignored it at first, like I'm sure everyone did, but... You learn that it's real? What can you do? What can you say? I immediately thought of Casper and called him. Of course he had been on a business trip the entire week, so he was halfway across the country. What do you do? What do you do when your life is flashing in front of your eyes, when... When every headlight screams of danger flashes distant memories of your childhood into your mind and dazzles you with the mad rush of continuing life. Two hours ago, my phone died. Three hours ago, his died. I know he's out there now waiting for me, but will I make it in time? Time. Time. What is that? Is this truly the end? I have no children, we'll have none, and no grandchildren. This is it, this is. This was my life, and it's ending one yellow speeding paint dash at a time. I have to hurry. I have to make it. I need him. I have to make it. I love him. There is a mad silence that splits space and time before death. Or so now I've learned. You never know it until you're in it. That's the twist. Boy, am I in it now. I haven't heard from Emily in over six hours. She should be here by now. Where is she? And then again, the world has gone mad. Looting, killing, stealing, burning, shooting. The rampage of the masses is now at hand. The manifestation of chaos is now descending. Anything could have happened to her. Luckily, it won't last long. 
She has to make it. She's got to make it. There's no more time. This is it. Any second now. Any second. I don't know how far I've traveled or how fast I'm speeding. Luckily, there's no police on the roads. Oddly, the traffic has been lighter and more calm than I ever could have imagined. In all the end of the world movies, you see the interstates are jam packed with cars, intersections blocked by head on collisions, and broken down vehicles littering the roadways. But out here, it's been quite calm, almost devoid of traffic. Only the ghosts of cars have been seen. I suspect everyone is huddled somewhere with their loved ones, where I should be, where I will be. The movies and reality are so far removed from one another, even in the end. I'm here. I'm here. I've made it. Casper. Funny how the glimmer of hope can dispel all notion of reality and despair. There's a sense of dread, and one tear falls after the other. There is nothing more peaceful and calming than seeing the one you love most when you need them most. There is nothing more calming and peaceful than embracing the one you love most when you need them the most. I made it. I'm here. He was here waiting for me. He seems so calm, so gentle, so, so genuine, so much more himself than I've ever seen him. Am I the same way? She is. funny. I know I'm about to die. We're all about to die, but in this moment, I'm at peace. I'm calm. Suddenly, there's no more confusion for me, no more questions, no more anxiety about life and death, no more fighting God. This is it, and I know it. My spirit consumes my body, and I'm no longer afraid. Life gives birth to death. Death gives birth to life. Death is real. And everything else is an illusion. I am here, she is here, and that's all that matters now. That's all that should have ever mattered. Where once death seemed so final and life so full of possibilities, it now seems that it's all been wrong. It was all backwards. Life is so final, so restricting, so bound, so... Restrained. At the onset of this birth of death, I feel a liberation and a freedom that I never could have expected, never could have imagined. At any moment, the air will be filled with the fire of death and the end of humanity, but here, now, in his arms, the truth is revealed to me. I am unfolding in the hands of time, of fate, destiny, and I am no longer afraid. I made it. I'm here, and he's here, and that's all that matters. We all fall down. If I were to dream, to dream no more. They say love is the death of beauty. But with beauty comes the death of ugliness and hate. This is it. So this is it. It takes strength to be gentle and kind. It takes kindness and gentleness to be strong. I love you. I love you.